Today I'm going to be giving you some ideas and some chord voicings that you can use to comp in what I refer to as the dead zone. Now this is the space that lives directly behind your minor pentatonic blues box. Now we're going to be doing this lesson in the key of C. So we're talking about the position kind of between the fifth and eighth fret. Now I call this a dead zone because this is kind of an underutilized space, but there is a lot of great stuff that lives back here. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're going to get it started very simply here in this space, just kind of on boogie chords, taking the fifth and root of a C chord off of that bar chord shape right there and combining that, you know, with the sixth and the flat seven. Very typical boogie stuff. I'm also going to throw in the flat third and major third of C right there. All right, and a couple more kind of boogie chords or a little passing chords that you can use in fills here would be intervals of fourths. So I can grab the, uh, the flat seven and the flat third right here, and then I can bring that down a half step and use these two in combination with the power chord. So. All right, next, let's take a look at the dominant seven chord voicings you can use in this space. One of my go-to seven chords would be this, flat seven, root right there on the G string, and your fifth up on top. And we can also add the octave to this flat seven up on the high E string. Let's look at this for a second, so. All right, another seventh chord voicing that's kind of cool in this space would be this one right here, basically just replacing the fifth of the chord with the major third up on top. So here we have flat seven, root, and major third. Okay, so let's kind of uh, try this one out in combination with the boogie chords. All right, next let's take a look at some extended chords like ninth chords. All right, this is a great voicing right here. Basically the flat seven, the nine or the D note, the major third and the root on top. Now I can also add the uh, fourth making this a sus chord. So I'll uh, show this now. All right, another nice nine chord voicing in this space would be this one right here. Almost the exact same thing as this shape, except we're replacing the major third there with the fifth at the eighth fret on the B string. All right, so let's use this one in combination with everything else so far. All right, another great sound and voicing in this space would be a 13 chord. So right here we have C13, almost the same shape as this here, uh, but we're going to the 13 or the A note up on top on the high E string, but I'm also gonna throw in that sus in here, so check this out.
All right, and another group of chords you definitely want to be using in this space is the combination of six and nine chords. Now here's a C9, here's a C6, bar in the index, another C9 chord here, and another C6. Great chords to throw in dominant chord grooves like this. A one, two, three, four. All right, and lastly, we can throw one more chord into the mix here, a diminished chord leading up to a nine chord. So check out this chord combination. Here's our C9. Bring it up with the sus, C diminished as a passing chord to this C9 chord.